All right, what's up YouTube? So in this video, we're gonna be continuing work on the trike right where we left off last time. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just cut some of this off because it really doesn't matter. The bearings are just seated inside of there. That was to hold the spokes on and the wheel this attached to. But it's, it butts it up against this. I mean, I guess I, I, I'm just gonna trim that little bit and it should be fine. All right, so I trimmed that up so it'll fit nice and under here. I gotta weld it on down here, but I just found out this I gotta move this sprocket over. I was just trying to think of how I'm gonna do this, but watch this. It's like, it goes a lot faster with two hands, but this is an awesome way to move this down here. Just like spin the tire with my hand. Also, something I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last video or not. I don't think I did, um, but I drilled a hole through all of these three pieces of metal. You know, one, two, three, and just dropped a bolt through there and just gave the impact hammer like everything, just to hold this together at all. If if these welds were to not hold when it was going, that's just kind of a safety thing. All right, so another thing we're trying to do here is run a um, cable for the throttle. This is, right here's the throttle. And uh, you'll notice it doesn't spring back on its own. So I went to, um, I went to Napa. And I got a new belt, that's gonna be for the clutch thing. The other belt I just grabbed off my lathe to see how it would work, and I got one the same size. And I got these springs right here from Napa for a couple bucks. So I'll use one of those on the clutch, one of them on the throttle, and I just grabbed three because I might need another one for something else. I'm going to grind off of this a little bit so it slides up and fits right in there nice. And then I'll probably use some hose clamps or something just to keep it in there. I don't want to weld to the actual motor. All right, so I grab the edges of this round down a little bit. That moves pretty nice and easy. All right, so I got that on there with some hose clamps. All right, so we're gonna be using some skateboard parts for this little clutch assembly. So I'm gonna cut this old shitty plastic truck apart right now. Need some nice motor oil for cutting fluid. I'm gonna weld this on here. Don't make it super tight because we do want it to be loose. What we got there? And then where's that skateboard wheel? So that'll sit on there like that. That goes on. It should. It went on a minute ago. Oh, did the weld fuck it up? Still spins just fine. All right, cool. Alright, so this is what we're going to use for the tensioner. Basically, I'm going to cut a groove so that it fits and doesn't, the belt doesn't come off. Now, I've never turned something like this, so this will be a little interesting. I think I'm just going to do it with like a gouger parting tool. It shouldn't be too bad. It's like rubber, so it's, but it spins. Things. <laughs> Oh, well, that smells really strange. But I think that'll be fine right there. All right, so we just got this welded on here, and this is pretty much how this is all gonna work. Now we just gotta drop a spring from here down. Keep tension on that. All right, so I just drilled a hole in here. Now we're gonna weld this bracket on, then drill a hole in there. And this spring will connect them. All right, so we got this welded on there. I drilled a hole in there, drilled a hole in here. Now we got this spring in here, nice and tight. Now I'm gonna put that skateboard wheel back on and then the belt. All right, so this pulley is gonna weld. I'm gonna weld it onto this gear. That way, when this turns, the chain turns, the wheels turn. All right, so we got this welded together. Looks really pretty. And now we're going to um, try to mount it to this, but this I think is a 5-8 shaft and this is for three quarter. So, that's not really good. So we're gonna try to shim it out using a soda can. <laughs> All right. 
It's making a soda can shim. Who'd you use that tape? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> All right, as long as it's not that good. <laughs> Let's get it on there the right way. No, we're being safe. <laughs> this whole thing is safe. What are you talking about? <clears throat> yeah, one hundred percent. You could drive this up to an OSHA facility and then say, "Yep, that's perfect." You know, this can be faster than anything. You know why? Why? It's a Honda. <laughs> we have to put like a four-inch exhaust right here, and a, and a spoiler. Yeah, I know. No, no, the spoiler's definitely going on because that dude commented saying put one on. All right. So definitely a spoiler at some point. No, the spoiler will be on very soon. Oh, yeah. You help? Nope. No. Do you want to check? The, the question is, will it still spin with? That's what we're going to find out in a minute. All right. What's that chain? I don't know why I don't hold the camera with my left hand. Make it way easier. Yeah, that's good. Cooperate is what I would like. It's a poor craftsman who blames his tools. Sorry, it's my tool anyway. I blame my tools. It's a good craftsman who blames somebody else's tools. It's the wise craftsman. <sighs> Alright, so last night we got this whole clutch assembly done we tried to get this chain thing to work but it didn't want to um, so we realized we really need a tensioner on this too so I turned down another skateboard wheel um, so we're gonna put that on tonight that yeah that fits in there good we're gonna do it just like this one just going up and it's not gonna be we're not we're gonna attach a cable to this too so you can pull it that'll work like a that's how our clutch is going to work. With that one, there's just going to be a spring and it's just going to keep tension on the chain all times. We're doing this one the same way we did the other one. So we got this nut welded on here. We're going to pass that through there, tighten the nut down, screw that in here, weld this. Alright, skateboard okay, wheels going to go on there. This is going to go here. Okay, so we got this welded on here. And now what we have to do is put another support or something here just so we can have a spring that pulls up on this piece. All right, so we got this little upright piece welded on here. We got that spring on there. This shit's just hauling around. That spring might not even be tight. Dude, like, you thought that spring was gonna be too tight? I did. It might not be tight enough. All right, we got this threaded rod over at Lowe's. And then, got this big new pulley. So that's gonna go on here like that. All right, so last time we were out here working on this thing, we tried to start it, and the pulley we used was this one, and it was too small. We had this little belt, and it couldn't spin the whole thing. So basically, we got a bigger pulley, just here, and a bigger belt. So that's on there nice and good. Then we got this piece of threaded rod. 
Um, so you just need to hook up a chain and then see if it'll can if it can spin the tires now. It should be able to with this big pulley on here. All right, so we got the new belt on there. Got the chain all adjusted. Now we're gonna see if we can get this thing to actually spin the wheels. All right, so our biggest problem here is still this gearing ratio. Um, we The chain just keeps flying off and um, we think this gear is just too small. So we're gonna put this bigger gear on there. But now we're gonna take this wheel off, take all this stuff out again, and then slip this gear on. Well, it seemed to work until I broke the chain, but as you can see, that's going to pretty quick, so hopefully that'll be fun when it's all done. Thanks for watching.